Hello Culture Buzz, I'm Veradit Gross and welcome to the Jaffa Salon of Art at the Jaffa Port in Israel. Uh, I was born and raised in Tel Aviv and still live here, minus 10 years I've spent in New York. I came back here four years ago and I'm happy to open tonight Plaster, which is a very special exhibition, not your usual exhibition. It's an actually a benefit auction to celebrate 25 years of Physicians for Human Rights here in Israel. Come over, I'll show you the stuff. Physicians for Human Rights is a humanitarian organization in Israel and they have two open clinics that opened in 1988 and in 1989. One of them is five minutes away from here in the south of Tel Aviv and it serves foreign workers, refugees, anyone who's in Israel and don't have health insurance. Apparently there are over 250,000 people in Israel without health insurance. The other clinic uh, goes every weekend to the territories to um, both to Dashomon, sometimes Gaza, and give help over there, medical help. All the artists we're going to see here today donated the work for the cause of uh, 25 years of Physicians for Human Rights. And we decided to sell them all in flat fee of $1,000. This made it a very uh, equal kind of exhibition. It made it uh, available for people who usually don't buy art. Uh, very accessible and actually it gave us a great buzz. We're going to see some of the works uh, that I like here. I like most of them, but all of them I should say. Uh, this is Ron Amir over here. Um, Ron Amir is an Israeli photographer and he photographed over here uh, the Arabic town of uh, Jasser Azarka, not far away of, of, not far from Caesarea. Uh, Ron Amir has been photographing Arabic communities and trying to go inside the communities and understand how they're happening, what's going on over there, and really give us inside look of places we usually don't see. Uh, there are a few other artists in Israel uh, who are doing similar jobs, uh, similar work. I would say some of them are photographing what you kind of call the scars of the land, the place where politics, war, day-to-day -day life left scars. The scars can be real scars in the landscape, but they could just be buildings. Um, I love this picture and we're happy to put it over here at the entrance of the show which also have a political statement which is a part of what this organization is all about. There are more. There are many, many great works and it's hard to pick up those we talk about. Um, I think the talk was about David Tantakover. Tantakover is a very famous Israeli artist and designer. He designed lots of uh, political posters and logos through the ears. He's the one who did the Peace Now logo over 30 years ago. Um, Tartakovar sketches every day. He has big black notebooks in his house, in his studio. And all the time, he sit down to sketches and sketches. Sometimes he can finish a notebook a day. Uh, I went over to his studio and we were trying to pick up work. Most of his work was too expensive for our show. We ended up going through his sketchbooks and we picked those two images. Uh, one of them is his hand, and the other one is the cactus. Uh, there are other things to see in the cactus, I'm going to leave this to your imagination. But the cactus is one of those symbols that became both an Israeli symbol, a Jewish symbol, an Arabic symbol, one of those moments, both of debate in Israel, but both of beauty, where both of the worlds can live together. He's been painting so many cactuses through the years, that in many ways they are very uh, recognized with Tartakovar's work. Many beautiful paintings. I wish you could be here to see them. Um, Asaf Shacham. Asaf Shacham is a young artist. We were lucky uh, to have great response from so many artists. Some of them are really the older generation gallery artists. Some of them are very young artists, many street artists as well. Asaf Shacham. Uh, he's a photographer and he works in theory of photography. And in this picture, he took a postcard of uh, Yad Kennedy, which is a building in Jerusalem. And with a scanner, he starts stretching the image. So he's moving slowly with the light of the scanner and the image until he made this into a very different building than what it was. The building grew. He has quite a few other images, uh, mainly in Jerusalem, that grew and totally changed what they are. So they seem familiar to us. But something is wrong about them. Uh, 
I also love the way the light changes and goes back to the basic RGB, as we're not only playing with the architecture and history, we're also playing with light and photography. I think I should take us around because it's a much, much larger exhibition. We have over 150 artists in it. I should tell you more about Physicians for Human Rights because they are the real reason we're here today. Inside of the clinic, they're also working a lot in changing policy because to give medical help is not enough. And if a Bedouin kid in the Negev, in a place that has no electricity, needs his inhalation and doesn't have electricity, the fact that he gets medical help is not enough. So Physicians for Human Rights is also working on changing policies in Israel. Um, visit the website. This is our poster, Plaster. We're very lucky to have the best graphic designers giving us pro bono work as well as PR people. Um, and I'll stop for a second next to this work by Danny Caravan. Danny Caravan is an Israeli artist and a landscape architecture. You might know some of his iconic um, sculptures around the world, like the Walter Benjamin Memorial. Uh, between Spain and France. This is a very rare moment because usually you don't get to see uh, much of his art, definitely not in these places. Danny was one of those very emotional emails. I sent him an email asking if he would like to take part in the show and he said, yes, thank you. I think this organization, you know, saves, uh, saves us and give a human rights another chance and he made this, especially for us, he made it a few times being a very precise artist. He told me I made it, it didn't work, I threw it to the trash, come back next week. Um, it's a beautiful piece. Um, the Jaffa Salon of Art is a very big space, as you can see, it's a hangar, you can see all the way upstairs. It's a very big hangar, it has changing exhibitions in it. Playful space and have lots of wall space, and even though there are so many works, I don't too close together. I hope. Um, I thought I'll talk about this little work over here, which I love by Idom Michaeli. Idom Michaeli painted his own stamp, and he kind of used the classic symbols you'll find in a stamp, right? It's the hands, the fires, the flower, it's the aleph letter. He made the stamp, he cut it, and he put it on an envelope and sent it in the mail. And I love the fact that the male just saw it and it looked like a stamp. They might not know the stamp, but there must be a stamp like this. Sort of like the who would make up the stamp. Stamped it and sent it to the gallery. This was sent to the gallery of the Midrasha School of Art. And what we have over here is the stamp, the, the envelope of the stamp and the picture itself. And it's one of those a little funny moments in which we are playing with our cliches, playing with our symbols. Uh, and it might make us rethink next time we see a stamp what exactly is behind it. There are many more works over here, but we can go through all of them. What I do recommend for you is to go to see our website, uh, phrplaster.com, Physicians for Human Rights, plaster.com, uh, where you can see all the works. Uh, I shouldn't say, but I should say that the CEO of the organization, this was his late night thing, he built the website for us. Everything over here was done voluntarily. And you can see works over there, you can also buy works over there if anything is left after this weekend, which I hope not. And learn more about the organization, about the beautiful art scene over here. Thank you. Goodbye.